Hey you guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I take my straight hair and turn it into these loose, bouncy curls. So here are some of the things that I use to get these curls. I like to use the wet brush. I use it on dry and wet hair and I just think it's amazing. I also use eyebrow gel. I know that's really weird but I'll, we'll get into that later. And then I have this Conair, uh, what is it called? Teasing brush, oh my goodness. And I just got that from Sally's. And then I got some hairspray. You can really use any hairspray. I actually found that the Tresme hairspray is way better and I always like having a travel size bottle for when I travel so you'll need that. I also use this Oscar Blandy Texture and Volume Spray and then I also will use a hair tie or a hair clip, either one, whatever you have on hand. And then I am going to be using the ISO Beauty Wand. This was their trio, like three in one. So this is the biggest barrel and I really like this. I love the color. I just think it's super fun and it heats up really fast and does just a great job. So the first thing I do when I start to curl my hair is I just take it out of, you know, whatever messiness it's been and it's normally crazy and all naughty. So I just take my wet brush and I just brush it all out. And then I like to part from like right underneath my ears and then pull that up and then just put it into like a bun clip. I don't know, a bun clip, that's what I call it. Just to get, you know, the rest of the hair out of the way. So I don't know about you, this all depends on you know the type of hair you have, but I have super thick hair. So what I like to do is I like to separate that bottom layer of hair into three different sections and then wrap it around the curling wand. And then I hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds if your hair is thick. If your hair is not that thick, don't hold it on there that long. You obviously need a shorter amount of time. Now if you really want your curls to stay for a long time, once your hair is curled, you can see what I'm doing in the videos. I'm basically just like curling it up like a fruit roll up and then you can pin it with a bobby pin to your head and that way it kind of just helps the curls set and will last a lot longer if you do that. But because I want loose bouncy waves, I'm not doing that. Also another trick that I do after I wrap it around the wand is I like to hold it up and then let the curl dry so that, I don't know, I just feel like that also sets it and makes the curl last longer. So. These are the type of curls we're getting. As you see, I'm wrapping my hair around the wand in different directions. So, and then I'll, you know, twist it closer to my head once I have the whole piece of hair wrapped around. And then I like to take my finger and just lightly tap onto the hair to see if it's heating up. And that kind of gives me an idea of when to let it go. So as you can see, I'm working on the third strand of hair at the bottom and just wrapping it around away from my head and you know just curling that hair and then I'm gonna keep doing that and I'll show you exactly how I do it from start to finish. Now as I work my way towards the top of my head, I will start to section off my hair layers into smaller sections and then I'll also take the strands of hair into smaller strands as well. I feel like this helps me get more volume as it goes towards the top of my head and it also kind of creates more layers in my hair since a lot of my hair is kind of the same length. Now when you hold your hair in the curl to let it cool down, I said earlier in the video to let it dry, I meant to cool down. You can also blow on it to help speed up the process. Now you can see in the video when I'm curling my hair, sometimes I'll curl it towards my head and then sometimes I'll curl it away from my head. I feel like that just kind of makes your hair look more full thicker and gives it a lot more volume and I'll show you what I mean. I've done like half my head and you can see here when I turn around that just makes your hair look pretty thick. Now if your hair is thick or long or just doesn't hold a curl well, I suggest to use hairspray. That way it will help keep those curls. And if you don't like the feel of hairspray, just make sure to get a flexible hairspray. There's different kinds and that way you don't really feel it and doesn't bother you. Now when it comes to doing the top portion of my hair, I really like to take my time with it because this is majority of what I see and also what others see, so I want to make sure I do a pretty good job. I can get away with being a little bit more sloppy on the bottom side of my hair, but the top part of my hair, not so much. I just really quickly wanted to let you guys know this ISO curling wand that I'm using is really awesome. I would highly recommend it if you guys are in the market for a new curling iron. It works really well, it heats up really fast, and it doesn't damage my hair and I use it a lot, so definitely recommend it. 
Now we're getting into doing the top, top part of my hair. Now I do it a little bit differently. As you can see, I'm sectioning it off starting from the back. And then this is where I start to put a lot more product in. So I go ahead and I put my texture and volume spray in, and then I also follow it up with some hairspray. I do this because the top of my hair see, like tends to get really flat, so this is the part that I start to tease, and I just like tease the crap out of it. And then I go ahead and start curling those pieces, starting from the back, moving forward. The reason I like to put in this texture spray and hairspray and also tease up this top part of my hair is because my hair is super long and really thick so it really just weighs down my hair and makes the top of my head look really flat so I have to do some extra work to give it some more texture and volume on the top of my head so it just kind of is more flattering to my face and my overall appearance when I am doing my hair. And here is a fun trick that I learned when I didn't have a round brush or a blow dryer. I used my wrist and arm to act as a like a round brush and that way it could help me give more volume to the top of my hair. So if you're ever in a bind, you can definitely use that. You know, use your resources, get creative. As you see, for the very top part of my hair, I am sectioning off a lot of different small pieces and just spraying all that texture spray, hairspray, teasing it, just giving it a ton of volume. This will really help make your hair just look extra cool when you're going out. And yeah, just spend a lot of time on it and it'll pay off. So I know you guys have all seen the popular trend of that side swoop big bang in the front of the hair so that's basically how you get it super easy and then you just curl that piece of hair and then I'm also going to show you how to make it a little bit neater. Now this front piece of your hair is really important as you can see I'm only curling the bottom half of my hair and then I'm tilting the curling iron at like a diagonal angle away from my face so that when that curl is falling down it won't be stuck in you know in my face and keep falling in my face. Then when I'm all done I kind of just like tease up my hair with my fingers a little bit at the top part and then I start sectioning off playing with it and figuring out how exactly I want to style it, how I want my part to be, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm deciding that I want my part to be on the other side of my head, so I'm kind of just playing with it, messing it around, moving it, seeing how it's going to work to fit the frame of my face. And then once I have it down, I like to just throw some hairspray back in my hair to make sure that those curls don't fall out since you spend a lot of time working on it. And then this is where the eyebrow gel comes in. Now to make all those little baby hairs at the front of your hair stay, this clear eyebrow gel works perfect for that. And then you are all done and you're ready to go. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.